be sure to turn the power off before performing any maintenance. All right, let's take the door off. And slide out the filter box. All right, now, you're going to throw this whole thing away. You're no longer going to need it. So let's get rid of this. All right, let's get ready to open this up. And instructions. You're going to want to save this. This is not packing. This is a styrofoam piece that we're going to use behind the door. We're going to talk about this later, though. A little sticker that says you have upgraded your air cleaner. You're going to want to save that. That goes on the door. There's a new filter. And our frame assembly. We have two rails and four uprights. All right, these all snap together, no tools are necessary. So these rails, there's no front or back, but there is an inside and an outside, okay? So the part that goes inside is here. This part here goes outside because you want these rails here sticking in because this is what the new filter is going to slide onto. So just snap this together like this. And we'll turn it upside down. Put the next rail on. Again, we need to be careful to put it in right. You don't want to put it in this way. It goes in like this. All right, it's all snapped together. Now let's talk about this cabinet for a second. You'll notice inside this cabinet, there are rails, top and bottom. The rail goes from the front all the way to the back. There's one here. There's another here. It's important that you have those rails, otherwise you're not gonna be able to do your upgrade kit. Older versions of this air cleaner made prior to 1985 did not have the rails. They had little, little tabs sticking up in the air. So no place to put this new rail system. So those units are not upgradable. This is a newer version, it is upgradable. So let's slide this in here. Slides onto the existing rails. All right, new rails on the old rail. Now, if you look real close here, you'll see there's two little tabs here. You're gonna bend one of these down. This, this one's too long, this one's shorter, so you're gonna bend it down. The purpose of that is to stop this railing from coming back out. So there's one here, there's another short one up here. We're gonna bend this one in. Okay, now, if we grab this, you can't come out anymore. That's what those tabs do, keeps it in there permanently. Now, let's get our filter out. All right, here's a new filter. It has a little plastic track here, okay? Slides onto those rails. The other thing that's important is the arrow. Now, this happens to be a 213 filter. There's also a 413 filter. The 213 fits in this particular air cleaner. 413 fits in a different model. But what's important is the arrow. Okay, it says uh, airflow with the arrow. The airflow is always towards the furnace. So this is our demo unit. The air is coming from your home, comes down, goes through the air cleaner, gets cleaned into your furnace to get heated or cooled and blows back into your home. So again, the arrow going this way, which is the direction of the airflow. So we have the little rail in here. We're going to mate it up with these tracks. Okay, top and bottom are both in, and we slide it into position. Okay, now 
The only thing left is the door. This is where the styrofoam piece comes in handy. We're going to take this little sticker off, get it out of the way. This door has an uneven surface on the back side. You need a nice even surface for this filter to mate up against. That's why this is sent out. This snaps into position on the back of the door. Okay. Now, this only is required on the third generation air cleaner, which uses this third generation style door. You'll notice that this particular door has four little tabs on it. There's four little sockets here, and they made up. Now, we're going to put this door on, and I'll show you an older door. All right. This is a generation two door. It already has a seal kit on the back side of it. It's a nice flat surface, so that styrofoam piece would not be necessary if you had this style door, in which case you just throw the styrofoam piece away. So this door mounts in a different manner. On this generation two style, there is a plastic latch on the top that lifts up and holds the door on. There's one top and bottom. That's what holds this style door on. So, but this is generation three door. It required the styrofoam filler, which we installed. And so that air cleaner is all set up. Last thing to do is this little sticker. You're gonna to wanna to place this on the front of the air cleaner so that if any service technician happens to work on this thing, he'll know that it uses the style 213 or 413 air filter since it's been upgraded. And that's it, that's how you upgrade your air cleaner. I'm your host, Jay. Thank you for watching. For additional help or questions, please feel free to contact us.